The Cape's leading decor design and lifestyle exhibition, Decorex, once again was the destination of choice for those turning house into home, and Winner Home set out to give the visitors a taste of what's to come. When you think of beautiful high design and home decor inspiration, you have to think of, well, Winner Home. It is no wonder that Winner Home and its sponsors had to have its very own stand here at Decorex in Cape Town, which is the home of design inspiration. We're going to take you on a journey of self-expression as we explore the best the country has to offer in terms of design and decor here at Decorex. The new Polo Village at Valdivie is where Winner Home is residing this year and the grand prize winner will enjoy a modern luxury lifestyle. You know, the stand here uh, this week at Decorex really represents what the Polo Village is all about and we wanted to create something that uh, the people can get a sense of, of uh, you know, the space um, and how to work with the space and uh, my opinion is that they've done a great job with it. I'm very excited, I can't wait for the competition to start and I'm very interested to see what the three design contestants also do and how they interpret not just the Polo Village but the whole of Old V and how it comes out into uh, the different designs. People that enter, if they can win one of these, it will be a great investment as well. Caesar Stone has a reputation for eye-catching exhibitions and the 72 square metre collaboration stand was not to be missed. Caesar Stone is very well known for their court services but also world-renowned for their design exhibition spaces. What exactly is Caesar Stone before we discuss the beauty that is around us? Well, Caesarstone is an engineered court surface. It's durable, it's scratch, stain, and crack resistant. It's just a wonderful material to have in your kitchen. What's the collaboration going to be like between Caesarstone and Winner Home? Well, Winner Home is a project that we're delighted to be involved with as a co-sponsor on Winner Home. It's a project that means a great deal to us. Designers are terribly important to us, and the emergence of young designers is something that we want to encourage. So the part that we'll be playing is to showcase our material, but also to help these designers get the very best out of their surfaces, and also to encourage them to look at other ways of using this material in other applications than just the kitchen. A key aspect of the show is highlighting trends and Plascon's forecast for the year is all about looking to the future with optimism. This stand is quintessential 2016 colour trend. Well what we do is we travel a lot to find out what the latest colour trends are to international trend shows and things. And then we also use an international colour trend company and they meet twice a year to see what colours are coming through in different industries. So whether it's hospitality or fabric design and paint colour and we all discuss the different colours coming through and then we decide on which colour trend stories are most important for paint and that's how we do our colour forecast. How has Plascon interpreted those colour trends for this year here today? What we've done is we've identified four key trend stories and that's what we've showcased on the stand. So each little stand is, consists of eight colours and it's a particular story and I'll take you through them. So the first story is where we are right now and that's the element theme and that is really inspired by our natural landscapes. As you can see we've got a beautiful mural of a landscape here. It's inspired by earth colours but also rock and stones like we have a beautiful pink here um, inspired by rose quartz for instance which also shows the fragility of earth. Our second story is inspired by space. You know we're all fascinated with what's happening in, in the universe so it's some bright galactic colours. Our third story is heirloom and in uncertain times people find comfort in classic colours and, and things from our past, colours that have stood this test of time. And our fourth theme is Connect and it's inspired by the art movement. Um, Memphis design, kinetic art movement and also arts and craft and it really is I think a backlash against all this cold minimalism and high tech and sleek stuff and it's just about having fun with, with paint and colour. An exciting addition to Decorex this year was an exhibition by self-taught fine artist Chizo Mangena who created new works at the show. So I've seen a lot of trends through your artworks. I see you found your particular essence of what it is that you like to create. How do you go about finding your medium and what is your advice to other young creatives who want to become a fine artist like yourself? I think one of the important things is one, remaining true to yourself. Uh, we all artists but we all derive our inspiration from different places and being true is the first thing that comes out of you stick with it and look at other ways of developing. 
The 100% Textiles Pavilion was a vibrant amalgamation of joyous textiles and bold photography. So I wanted to showcase um, contemporary African uh, textiles from places like Nigeria and Mali and South Africa. And I also wanted to showcase it with image makers, fashion designers, bloggers, fine art photographers, people who really are seeing things and showcasing them in a new and vibrant way. Designer and fine artist Adrian Lochner was awarded the Designer Spotlight Showcase for 2016 and dedicated his space to transitional eclectic style. So your background is in fine art and I've always wanted to know the difference between fine art and design. Is there a difference? Right, many people think that art and design is the same thing, but there's a very distinct difference between the two. Design, for instance, is for a purpose. Someone will design a car, a interior, a chair, a dress, whatever. So there is a definite uh, end result, sort of, um, where art is something that you can't really um, pinpoint. It's an expression of the artist. It's, it's a story. It's something you want to, to express to the viewer. And every single viewer, of course, will also have a different interpretation of what the artist is trying to say. Winner Home has proved to be a wonderful learning and experimenting environment for artists and designers like former contestant Travis Hyde. It's so great to bump into a familiar face. Travis, hi, so good to see you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. So I would have said to you that it's, it's hot, but I'm actually gonna say to you it's piping hot. Uh, we were going for a bit of a steampunk look and they basically lend into that category perfectly with their piping bars and uh, shelving. So what opportunities have come out since uh, you are in Winner Home? Uh, well, Winner Home really opened my eyes to different interior design arts and different people's opinions of interior design and I definitely took those to heart and I've used them to, to my work that I've done at home and abroad. It's a great stepping stone and platform for young interior designers and architects to really get uh, real world practice that they can use and catapult their career into, into the big stream. With so much innovation and a true celebration of African spirit, exciting times lay ahead for the world of design and interiors.